but we are all together saying one thing. The priority is for the American cooperation. Yep, I'm First Lieutenant Keegan Parker, K-E-E-G-A-N, Parker, spelled like it sounds, P-A-R-K-E-R. -E and then what is, what unit are you with? I'm with 191 CAV, the Airborne Reconnaissance Squadron within the 173rd Airborne Brigade. Cool, and then what's your role within, within that unit? Within 191 CAV, I'm the Air Operations Officer, so basically my scope is anything to do with air transportation, so any kind of fixed wing operations, such as airborne operations or rotary wing operations, so... Anything that flies for the squadron, it's my job to plan and resource that. Could you ever imagine, you said you graduated from Colorado State, mm -hmm. being out here with the Moroccans, like how is this, how has it been so far? Um, I've always loved to travel, so I've, I felt like I was pretty worldly before, but the job has given me opportunities to go to places that I absolutely never would have before. Like, I certainly would have been on a military base in Morocco working with the Moroccan military, so it's afforded a lot of super cool opportunities. Um, yeah, I definitely, even a year ago, probably wouldn't have pictured myself standing in front of the plethora of people I was today. And what did you do today? What was your, what was going on today? So what we just completed on this little field behind me was a rock drill, so a rehearsal of concepts. Basically, that was to create shared understanding between us and our Moroccan partners um, for the airborne operation that we're conducting on the 10th. So basically, we walked through start to finish what the next few days are going to entail with the hope of making sure everybody's on the same page and when we go to jump out of the aircraft on the 10th that everything goes relatively smoothly. And how is this a, a joint operation with the Moroccans? So basically a lot of what we're doing here is very closely tied with the Moroccans. For example, we have one USC-130 and then the other two that we're going to be dropping out of are Moroccan C-130s. So everything from the actions on the objective when we land on the DZ to the flights in and the airborne operation, all of that is super mixed between us and the Moroccans. Um, and we absolutely couldn't accomplish this task without them as they're providing us with transportation, lodging, um, sustainment. Basically, they're going super far out of the way to make sure that we're well taken care of and integrated. Awesome, and how has it been different than normal planning and operations, like explaining the plan? Yeah, so it's been different. Um, it's kind of a cool opportunity with my job. We work with a lot of different partners throughout Europe, but this is my first time working with foreign partners um, on an entirely different continent. So what I've grown used to in Europe didn't really help me too much here because it's an entirely different culture. The people are different. Um, the way they operate is different. So there's a pretty steep learning curve coming here three days ago and being thrown into the mix with my NCO Sergeant First Class Miles and uh, just trying to figure out how they operate so that we can integrate with that and then have a successful operation. Cool, and then my last one before if you guys want to chime in is what are you looking forward to in the, in the next few days? What's going on with you? Uh, hopefully just a successful airborne operation on the 10th where nobody gets hurt. It's pretty hard DZ, but everybody's going to keep their feet and knees together, so should be all right. I... I'm really just excited for the culmination event um, where we're dropping with the Moroccans onto torch drop zone. Um, looking forward to everybody getting down to the drop zone safe and yeah, feeding these together and everyone will be all right. So specifically with the 173rd, as we are, you could refer to it as forward deployed, um, a lot of what we do has to tie in very closely with the partners we have adjacent to us. So anytime we're involved in really like any large scale conflict, that's likely to involve the partners to our left and our right, um, where it's not quite like the U.S. where we're surrounded by our own. We have to make partners and be good neighbors to basically everybody around us because that's our direct support. And those are our partners, and that's the relationships we're looking to build. All right. Do you have anything else you would like?